Today is a great day. The Complete Control MK3 from Native Instruments now has play assist. And what that means is now you can use the Control MK3 and the features such as chords, scales inside of any DAW of your choice. You guys know I'm a heavy machine user and when the keyboard initially came out, I was not able to use it inside a machine because it just doesn't recognize it. I could use it inside of Logic along with all of its features, but that wasn't the case with machine. Now. Here we are, you can use play assist inside of machine. The only downside is there is no full on integration yet. So you can't do the transport control. So there's no play, record, stop, quantize, any of that. But if you have a machine, you can just use your machine to do all of that. And also there is no art mode yet. You can just use your scales and chords. And for me, that's honestly enough for right now. I'm super excited about seeing it get more integrated where I can use it with machine, but this is a great start because this is something that I really, really wanted from the get go. It actually pushed me to start making beats with Logic because I wanted to use this new keyboard and it just wasn't working with machine. So I started using Logic and then I went back to machine and used my Complete Control MK2. But now I finally switched it over. I was gonna pick it up, but I have it hooked up. I'll show you guys how you can set it up and how to use play assist inside of machine or any other DAW that you're using because again the features are now inside of the keyboard itself so you can use it with any DAW of your choice and without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys machine I'm gonna show you the control and just show you how to set it up and one more thing make sure you update the firmware for your control mk3 because that is how you'll be able to do it and make sure you go through native access and update the complete control and then the complete control access i forgot exactly what it was called but make sure you upgrade those two and also update your hardware and then you'll be able to do it so without further ado let's go ahead and get over to the machine so i have machine open right now with contact eight and alicia's keys selected if you look over here you see my machine is recognized by the machine software i have the control mk3 plugged in turned on all of that and however it is not recognized right now i have the control mk3 open and turned on plugged in it's not showing me anything i have no controls over machine of course these are like buttons you can play keys i guess with it but this is play record stop it's not supposed to do that but this is how the control MK3 is inside of machine. And this was my main gripe because the thing that I loved about the previous complete control keyboards was that they worked flawlessly with machine. I was able to sync them up and everything. And with this, yeah, I could play the keys, but I don't have any of my features that I like, such as your scales and chords. Well, now that has changed. When you plug this in, it'll still look like this. You can open up any VST inside of your DAW and this works. You want to hit play assist right here. Once you hit play assist, you get a screen like this. As you see, this is scale. It has your scales. You can go through and change it. So I'm going to change the scale to, let's just say, I want to go to F. I'm going to go to F. You have your banks here. I'm just going to leave it on main. Go to minor. And then you could change your mode from guide. Guide is where it just literally guides you the right notes. You can still hit wrong notes. If you go to mapped, it won't hit the wrong note. It'll go to whichever one is next to it. So like right here, that's the wrong note, but it goes right there. I throw it on easy mode because it's just easy to just have all the white keys in the scale. Now you can't use record, play, stop. That's unfortunate. I have my machine over here, so I'm able to just record with that. And then from there, it actually goes and records inside of machine and it actually shows you which notes you are playing. I started with F, it's on F, so that is great. In the previous keyboards, it did that as well. So that's cool to still be able to have that. I was kind of worried if that was gonna happen with this being like that, but since the scale features are on here, it's probably just sending the right information over to machine. Now you can still do chords. Let me clear out what I have already and it'll do the exact same thing so you just go right here and go to harmonize and then you can go to your chord sets
Now, art mode isn't here yet. That's coming in the future, but I'm glad to have this. This is a step in the right direction. I really do look forward to what they do with this coming up. And also just being able to dive back into machine. This is a beautiful keyboard. And now that I can use this inside the machine, I can lock in my scale over here and just do what I need to do. I'm excited about it. Now, there is one drawback though, and that is I'm in F minor. Let me take the chord mode off. I'm in F minor over here, but my machine is still in C chromatic. So it does not sync up across the different devices. So what you would need to do is simply remember or look and see what scale you have set over here and then come over to the machine and set it over there and then moving forward you should be good so even how it is now if I go up and open up another instrument let me just go to a different instrument because that'll load quick so I have Nexus right here it's still going to play in this scale that's locked here I don't have to worry about switching it it's going to stay but if you want to go, you know, sometimes you might do your keys over here, do your baseline on the actual machine. You would want to make sure that you set the scale inside the machine to match what you have here. So that way it's all synced up together. So I'm excited about this. I'm glad Native Instruments finally added this. I look forward to some other features being implemented to where we could use this with machine. I appreciate you guys tuning in out there. My machine users rejoice. It's a step in the right direction. Appreciate y'all for tuning in out there. Have a great day. If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video.